Hi, I'm Laura, I'm a venue dresser and I'm from Elgin to Fair. Advice and tips I would give to couples. Firstly, something that I say a lot to my couples is don't focus too much on what has been done or what you think has been done. There's many times I hear, what should I be doing? What do other people normally do? It's not about other people, it's not about what should be done, it's about how you want it. And I think that's really important that people need to remember. This is your day, it's your unique day, it's unique to you, everybody is different. So focus on what you want, not what should be done. Pinterest is brilliant, it gives you a lot of ideas on what's out there. It can also blur reality a little bit. So what people need to remember is, even though it's great to go on social media and look at these sort of websites to get ideas, Try not to focus on it too much because a lot of this stuff is filtered, it's edited, it's not really the reality of how things are going to look. It's certainly brilliant for getting some advice and some ideas, just don't focus on it too much. Questions that couples should be answering venue dresses I think are things like, have you worked at the venue before? It's not a massive problem if a venue dresser hasn't worked at a venue before because there's that many photos out there nowadays that a venue dresser can get a good idea of how it all looks. But if you have a venue dresser that has been at a venue many times, not only are they going to know the layout, they're going to know different ideas of how the room can be set up, they're going to know the turnaround room times for the day. And that's also really important because a venue dresser can then give you some inspiration and lots of different ideas on how you can work with that venue because they've been there so many times. A venue dresser that's been there several times will definitely be able to help you out with that. We actually like to make a lot of our items ourselves, which gives people the difference than just something normal from a shop that's bought. So for example, the centerpieces that we've done today, you can simply make them different by changing the colours. We can accessorise it differently, you can put different things around on the table, you can even change the insert of the centerpiece. So today we've gone for cylinder vases with floating candles, we can take those out and we could have a single vase with a big pillar candle in. So just by changing a little aspect of a centerpiece, you are essentially making a completely different centerpiece. I'd say the most popular wedding theme that we're working on at the moment is neutrals with earthy tones. That is a phrase that I'm hearing quite often. So people are coming to me saying, we want nice centerpieces but we want it earthy. And by that they're meaning they want a little bit of rustic in there. So the wood stuff, the hessian is definitely quite popular. Another popular thing that we're working on at the moment is dusky pink. It's been popular for the past two to three years and I don't see that going out of sync at all. A couple of the colours that are coming in are dusky blues and sage green. Those are things that I'm hearing a lot of, so it may not necessarily be something that we're working on at this moment for this year, but it's definitely something that we're getting inquiries for for next year and even 2022. Just enjoy the whole process. Dressing the venue isn't something that should be stressful. So when people come in to me and they may be a little bit worried about things, they're not too sure on how to go, when they leave at the end of an appointment and they're smiling, they're happy, I know I've taken that stress away and I think that's really important. So just enjoy it because it is exciting, it's fun, you found your dream venue, you want to make it look beautiful, so go in there and just enjoy it and make sure you have it exactly how you want it, not how you think it should be done.